This is a an under cabinet fluorescent light fixture which takes one uh, F20 T12. Uh, it's been modified so it's got two ballasts now instead of just one. And it uses a toggle switch to switch it between the you know, basically a low and high brightness. Um, I use Robertson ballasts. These can take quite a different uh, number of lamps there. Anyway, the uh, basically one pin on each end of the lamp is connected normally. That is, one side goes to the neutral side of the power supply, and the other side goes to the ballast. Uh, the other pins simply go to the center of the toggle switch. I don't know if you can... There we go. <laughs> Hopefully you can see that. Um, then the... Uh, you can see one side of the toggle switch is simply shunted together. That allows the light to start. And uh, the other side is goes to the other ballast. So, if you're using an automatic starter, you can get by with just using a two-position switch. I'm using a three-position switch, so it goes uh, center off and on, on both sides like that. So, uh, let's see if it works. All right, everything's uh, back together. Let's test it out. All right, I'm gonna put it in the starter position. There's the glow from the filaments, and it starts up just fine. This is the low brightness setting, and now here's the high setting. Low, high. Doesn't really make all that much of a difference, but uh, at least not as much as I was hoping, but uh, it'll help sometimes, I guess. So here's the power meter. It's using around 22 watts, 21.9. Uh, then when I put it on the higher setting, or the bright setting, whatever you want to call it, now it uses 45 watts. Twenty-two, forty-five. So it'll be interesting to see just how much it uh, affects the lamp life. Um, because obviously it's a 20 watt lamp, it's meant to be run on 20 watts, but anyway, that's this is how you wire a lamp to uh, run on two preheat ballasts at the same time.